Hi everyone. In this video, we look at mensolation part two. So, I hope you have the video for part one. It is there on my YouTube channel. Now, in mensolation part two, our focus will be on the volume of the flash dam of the square base D pyramid. So, the volume of the flash dam of the square base D pyramid. So, the formula that we'll be using is this one. Volume equals 1 over 3 A1 plus A2 plus square root. So, this is the square root. Square root. So, this is the square root. Uh, in the square root, we have A1 times A2. The same A1 which is here. And the same two uh, a two which is here, we will just multiply. Then this h is the height. Okay. Now here a one it present area one. Then a two area two. H the height. This will be understood, or you'll be able to understand it when you look at the diagram or the working example. So, uh, I have this question. So, the question here says, the diagram below shows a bin in the form of the flash dam with square ends. You see that? Remember, we are dealing with the square, the square base, the pyramid. So, here, they are saying square ends of sides 4 centimeters and 10 centimeters respectively. The height of the bin is 9 centimeters. So the height is here, which means from this point up to the far end, or from the here, from the center of the base up to the top. Okay, now if you can see this, the, the font is very tiny. So I'll draw it on a paper so that you can able to see. Okay, so what I've just done, I've just uh, draw here i hope my it may not be as accurate as the way it is here so please uh, this is the actual diagram i've just draw it for easy explanation so this question actually it is picked from 2018 paper 2 gce question 6 in case you want the reference for the question so here what i was saying is that the height of this beam when you measure we, when you measure from this point, from this point up to here, from here, that's the what? The height H. It is what? 9 centimeters. These are dotted line presenting a 9 centimeters. So, what we are going to do is just the matter of using this formula. This formula, it is stand for all the flash term volumes. Okay, so there is no need to start using, uh, extending the diagram and uh, cutting it, finding small h. Just this formula is enough. So stay tuned and I'll take you how we can find it, the, the, the volume of the flash dam. So this is the solution how we find the volume. The first thing we write the volume, uh, the formula for the volume. So this is the formula. Now if you check in the formula, in the formula, uh, we have to find area 1, area 2, okay? And we have to know our H. So on this diagram, uh, area 1, it is the base which is on top. This is area 1. This base, just observe with the lead pad the way I'll be moving. This base on top, this base. So this base on top, this base, it has the shape of a what? A square as the question implies here when they say a square okay but we know that if you have a square like this this is a square for for instance uh, if you have a square when they say this is 10 centimeters it means also on top is what 10 centimeters and also this side is equal and this side there will be just be 10 centimeters and this side 10 centimeters because the square has equal length. Let's say if this is the length, okay, this is the length, how can we find the area of this square? We say 
area is equals to L squared. Okay? So, then we say area will be what? Uh, you know the length is the same. So, we just pick 10. You say 10, then you square it. So, area will be equals 10 squared. It means 10 times 10. So, area will be equals to what? 200. Okay? So, it also implies here on area 1 when we take this. Okay? When this is area 1 actually. So, this is area 1. When we just take this 10 and square it, we'll find what? Area 1. So, area 1 is what? Uh, 100 centimeters. Then down here, there is area 2. So, you have to observe the way I'll be moving with the red pen. So, when I'm, I'm moving like this, it is making a shape of a what? A square? A square. You see that? Uh, sorry for that. Down here. So when you move like this, okay, maybe I use a blue pen, you see. You follow this. I'm going like this. I go down, I go down, and I, I come like this. Okay. So here there is what? There is four centimeters. It also means this side there is four centimeters, and this side four centimeters, and this uh, the other side four centimeters. So we have to find the area two, okay? So now, how do we find area 2? So I'll take you how we find area 2. So area 2, uh, down there, down here, we know that there, uh, area 2 will be just equals to L squared. Okay. Now, our L here is what? It's 4 centimeters. It's more like you have a square like this one. Then down here, there is 4 centimeters. It means... On top, there is 4, and here 4, and there 4. But the most important area is just get length squared. Our length is 4. So 4 squared. Then our area will be because 4 squared is 4 times 4. Area, 4 times 4, you see, 16 centimeters. You see that? So we have found area 1, and we have found area 2. After that, all what we need is to light the data. Okay, so we have just to light the data on this formula now, you see. So here, area 1, this is area 1, which is 100 centimeters. Area 2, which is here, 16 centimeters. Area 2 was found uh, from this paper. This is area 2. Then our area 1 was, find, was found from here. We just get this 10. We square it, and we, we had found the 100. Okay. I hope you are following. Now, when you look at the formula very well, there is also what? H. H present the height. This H is equal to what? To the height. So, the height, it has been given in the sentence. They are saying the height of the bean is 9 centimeters. From this point up to this point, this is the 9 that you see inside, 9 centimeters. So height, there is no need to start calculating. You just get it direct. So the height uh, is equal to 9 centimeters. Now it is completely. Area 1 is there. Area 2 is here. Height is there. So what is ne needed now is to substitute into the formula so we are going to start substituting into the formula so when we start substituting you we'll say volume equals i'm following this formula one over three so i'll write one over three the way it is open the bracket area one area one is hundred so hundred this is hundred plus area two so here plus area two so area two is here. 16 plus square root here area 1 again area 1 is 100 then multiplied by area 2 so area 2 is 16 close the bracket here there is what height but we know our height is equals to 9 so our height is equals to a 9 so, what we are going to do now here 
it is the matter of following what is in the bracket. Always you start with the brackets here, what is in there, the bracket. So we are going to say volume is equals to 1 over 3, open the bracket. Then we add 100 plus what? 16. So when we add 100 plus 16, we get 1 16 plus, here there is a plus, a plus, then square root. We are going to say 100 by 1 16. So this we can use a calculator or can do it direct to be just 1, 6, 0, 0. Okay, cross the bracket, then 9. This 9 which is there, then the 9. So V of volume will be equals 1 over 3. Open the bracket, 1, 16, plus. The first thing to do, work out with the square root. So you have to get a calculator. So this is my calculator. So you go on square root. Here this is a square root. Square root, then you punch 1, 6, sorry, 1, 6, 0, 0. You see that? Okay, the square root is here, and the number under I've punched, then I'll say equals. You see? So the square root of 1,600, it is 40. So we have to write here a 40. After that, we close the bracket, then we have 9. From this point, always deal with in the bracket. Do not start doing any other thing. Just concentrate with the bracket. So in the bracket, we have to add 116 plus 40. So I'll show you here using a calculator. So just punch 116, uh, 116, then plus a 40. Okay. So when we add 116 plus 40, we are getting 156. So there you say volume is equals 1 over 3. Open the bracket 1. 56. Okay. Now, when we add 116 plus 40, you see, there will be nothing left, which means we have to multiply with this number, which is outside. So now you say times a 9. So this 9, it will go in the bracket. It becomes multiplication. So the next thing, just like the way I've said, focus with the bracket. Okay. So there, the next thing now, it will be nine uh, 156 then multiply it by 9. So using a calculator, 156 by 9, you get uh, 1,404. So we are going to say, here we we'll just say volume is equals to 1 over 3 multiplied by 1,404. Just to maintain the bracket, okay? There is nothing harm. Then here we we'll just say 1 multiplied. You know if they are bracket it means times. So 1 multiplied by this number, you get the number which is inside, then over 3. So division, it is the last part of your calculation. So division, it is the last part of your calculation. So what it implies here is that 1,404, we divide with what? 3. Using a calculator, okay? So when we divide it, we get 468. That will be our volume. So 468 centimeters, then cubed. So volume is measured in cubed. Okay. So this will be our answer. So we have started from here. Okay. Where we have gathered our data. Then we started solving. We solve. We solve up to here. Okay. So this was our question coming from 2018 paper 2 GC question 6. Thank you for watching. Uh, the last part in case you want online tuitions, you can call this number or you can simply WhatsApp me on this number then I'll be able to help you where you need problems in maths. Of course it's not for free. You know, these things, we are helping each other. Some of us, we are teachers. Uh, it is our job. So please, uh, let, us, uh, uh, let us get in touch using this line. Thank you for, for watching.